This is the exterior of a Clayton Corner, which is a double fronted three bedroom house. It has the garden off to the side of the house rather than to the back, which is the difference between a Clayton and Clayton Corner. As you can see, it is covered in windows, so it gets plenty of natural light inside. The garden extends out to the side a little to allow access out of the utility room. The driveway for this particular house is behind the garden where there is one space plus the garage which makes the second space and there is access to the garden as well. Please be aware that this is not a finished plot in this video so it still has to be cleaned and tidied up both inside and outside before completion day. Entering through the front door there is a small hallway so you have a zone to arrive in rather than just walking into the front room like some of Persimmon's other house types. The layout of the hallway with multiple walls makes furniture placement for shoes, bags and coats a little bit awkward but there is a utility room as well as a storage cupboard in the kitchen. The colour of the carpet throughout this particular house is called Breeze and I believe it is one of the higher quality options. One of the doors in the hallway lead off to the living room which spans the length of the house. As this is a Clayton corner, the doors to the garden are to the side rather than at the end and you have a window out to the front of the house as well. door leads to the kitchen diner. There is a fair sized space for a table that seats six. Some Clayton corners come with a bay window that creates a nice little seating nook but the walls in this one are flush. The flooring in the wet areas of this home is a finishing touch called Norfolk Oak. It is a luxury vinyl tile with a wood effect. The kitchen has a good amount of storage and lots of worked up space for food preparation and serving. The cabinets are upgraded, the colour is called indigo blue and the hardware for them is a copper colour for a nice contrast. The appliances are all integrated and as I said the plot isn't quite finished yet so there's a few cabinet doors to be fitted still. I'm not sure of the name of the worktop but it's kind of like a terrazzo with sparkles in it. The owners have chosen an electric hob and upgraded the oven to a double oven. In the utility room there is a door that leads out to the garden and there is also a radiator to keep this room warm in the winter. The boiler doesn't come with housing but I think you might be able to add that in finishing touches to complete the integrated look. There is space for a washing machine and dryer side by side so they don't have to be stacked and the plumbing is hidden in the middle base cabinet. Off of the utility room is the cloakroom which is in the middle of the house under the stairs so it doesn't have a window. There is an extractor fan fitted to compensate for the lack of natural ventilation in this room.
This is the cupboard in the kitchen I was referring to earlier. It is small but it could be turned into a pantry or it could house things like a slim hoover. You can put plugs in it so that things can be charged. Out of the utility room is the garden. This garden does have upgrades in it so there's an outside tap and there's also a garden light and an external plug. There are a couple of nooks in this garden due to the boundary lines and those little nooks can be used for storage or bins, things like that. This garden is roughly 8 metres by 6.5 metres, not including the nooks. Inside and up the stairs there is a window in this hallway which is nice for natural light. Not all Clayton Corners have this. There is a decent amount of transition space and there is also a cupboard over the stairs for storage. bedroom again has two windows for lots of natural light and it's a fair size. This particular room can fit a super king bed without bedside cabinets or a king size bed with them. There is space for additional furniture like a dressing table or chest of drawers and there's also the space for the wardrobe. The owners of this home have added built-in wardrobes. You can see the ones they've chosen are fully glazed and they have room for hanging space and shelves as well. suite off of this bedroom has its own window and the shower in here is slightly larger as it spans the width of the room. There is also an upgraded towel radiator. This is the smallest room which is bedroom 3. This room has just one window. It is a decent single as it can fit a single bed in it. Again this one has a fitted wardrobe which is hanging space and shelves. Bedroom 2 has two windows and can comfortably fit a double bed for an adult. In this room you can also see the third fitted wardrobe, so that's three different sizes of wardrobe, the largest in the principal bedroom, the smallest in the smallest bedroom and this one is an in-between size.
bathroom is a fair size, it has natural light and ventilation and this one has been upgraded to add an electric shower over the bath and a towel radiator.